So GMB Pros, welcome, welcome. Thursday, uh, Rankin Rent with Micah. Uh, I want to appreciate everybody for your support. Those that are watching the replay, um, we hope to bring you some uh, valuable information, uh, something that you can apply, think about, give you an aha moment um, that will help you move forward, get you unstuck, that you can apply right away. That's the ultimate goal, right? So Micah, unfortunately, will not be in here. He's We've talked during the week. He's been not feeling so good, and I think it kind of came to a head today. He, he wasn't feeling good at all. So I'm like, hey, I got you, bro. Take the day off. But um, I still want to cover rank and rent, uh, certain things that I came across kind of this week and last week. And in fact, uh, probably the, the month, uh, you know, the whole month, I've been kind of hearing different, you know, things about rank and rent that I thought would be of value to this group as you guys move forward. I also have um, some case study updates for you guys. So stay tuned because I want to prove this concept, prove um, the, the the concept of rank and rent, right? And so if, if you guys have any questions, just hit your uh, to raise your hand, I'll unmute you or request to unmute you and let you, um, you know, hopefully you guys will have a video. You can come on with the with your video and ask your questions, any concerns. And my my advice or my recommendation are really are going to come from um, my experience. So if if I've gone through it or if it's similar or, you know, anything from I'm going to base it off my experience. So it, you know, bring you from that, the value would be from that point, right? So um, one of the things that I wanted to cover, I got some notes here that I wanted to cover with you guys and then kind of tie it in at the end. And one of them was obviously it has to do with the rank and rent, rank and rent. And I've been hearing a lot of like negativity towards it. People are moving away. Um, just their whole demeanor uh, towards rank and rent when I hear these people talk and comment, it's like, you're dumb if you get into the rank and rent model, right? And there's a lot of models, right? In marketing, we have, you know, if you focus on, um, if you focus on like, um, like paid ads, right? If you focus on social media, you can focus on reputation management, SEO, website build, or a full stack, all of those. Uh, there's different models within their business, right? There's client work, agency work, SEO. And even in that, like myself, you can focus on just the GMB or just the website or together, you know, make, make you know, website and um, the GMB together, you know, and each and every one of those, like even if you're doing paid ads or uh, PCC, right? There's Facebook, there is uh, Google, there is, uh, you know, YouTube, right? There's a tremendous amount uh, of um, things that you can get into in each and one of these. Uh, I've ever had with rank and rent is the clients complain about lead quality, right? But, you know, and, and we'll, we'll get to that, right? I'll cover that a little bit. So you have this like negative situation. And here's the thing with that, Steve, that, that's a good question. That's common. And here's the thing that's common, even if like if you don't do the rank and rent model or like the agency work, you get that you're not getting enough of quality, right? And sometimes if you dig in a little bit deeper, especially if you have like a tracking and you record these calls, you can really uncover, uh, Steve, I don't even, I don't know if you have that like a tracking, like a tracking number where you can record the calls and then you can kind of unpeel to hear what they're saying. I found that, that to be super helpful for me because usually the person that's complaining is not the one that is like in the day to day in the grind or or kind of hears. And then when you let them hear these um, recordings of calls, they like tell like, oh my god, I had no clue. I'll give you another one. A little bit. Um, the names maybe the niche is a little different, but uh, me and Michael were talking about it. So we had, or Micah really had this client was getting a lot of leads, right? And, but they weren't converting. They went from like the call center dispatch um, field reps, right? Well, the call center was getting a lot of leads, but the reps, they weren't like executing the leads or the appointments. And again, 
through peeling the, the onion a little bit, we realized the problem was in the dispatch from call center to dispatch sending out the people. So if they weren't able to execute that, um, the, the, you know, that transition, it was like a huge fall off, right? From a bunch of leads to like, and then it was like, man, your leads are not uh, converting to appointments. So that was like the big issue. Like, yeah, you say I get all these leads, but they're not converting for appointment. And this scenario, it was the call center, right? They weren't, it wasn't connecting, they weren't communicating. The ones I've dealt with have been, been that big of a scale, but it's like, hey, no, we're 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 getting you leads, but look, this it was just like the follow up, the questions, the information wasn't um, being conveyed correctly. Um, there is another one. Um, it's not my client. It was it was from a lawyer. They're getting about a thousand leads a month, and their scenario again because they want to keep turning stuff off. Off and on, off and on, off and on, and kind of to hopefully somewhere in here we I can give you like a homo. That's a good idea or something to explore, Steve. Um, it's a conversion uh, factor for this particular lawyer because they're getting a thousand. They're not able to handle the lead, so it's not like if it's a good lead or bad lead, you just can't handle the leads or you don't know. Again, follow up. Again, proper questions. Um, and this scenario with the lawyer part, it was more of a handling, a follow-up kind of like the same person that was in the front office was taking all these calls. They just became overwhelming. So there's like three scenarios that I kind of gave you. Hopefully that helps a little bit, uh, Brian. But as you know, and, and we get a lot of that, right? Even in the SEO, like, oh, your leads are not good or you knock it out of the park, right? Um, and the client leaves you, right? Like, ah, oh, man, I did, they gets that sense of like, I did all that work for nothing, right? But I think one of the things in the rank and rent um, is, um, in the rank and rent, so Lee, uh, I listened to Lee at one of the, the Vegas conference and he talked about, it, yes, if, if, if you can make leads, you can make bank, right? So I think that's going to be the key is us making these leads for us to be able to make bank or make profit or help different businesses out there. Okay. And, and I'll kind of tie this together. If you guys can follow me here a little bit, it, it'll make sense at the end. But one of the things that I wanted to point out with ranking rent is people shining a bad light on it. And it's not necessarily true. Okay. The service, um, I think it's a good service that we're providing for people, right? It's part of the kind of a, a different model in marketing to do the ultimate thing is to get leads, people in the door, get money, get phone calls, right? Uh, we solve uh, the lead situation. We solve a big problem. Um, and, you know, with the rank and rent, it, it's, a, it's a model um, that you can be successful because you also will hear like, oh, pick the right niche, but you'll hear me say, pick the niche with the with the least res path of resistance for you. It could be different for everybody, right? And we can be successful, right? Here, we have Brian. I know Brian, I don't know if he is or is not, but I know he used to be in the uh, junk removal. He's found some certain level of success. I know I, I got some from him. Um, and it's it it doesn't break the bank, but there is some level of success for that. Uh, Rafael is in the in the service maids uh, cleaning. He's had some success with that. Uh, Shanta here uh, has a smoke shops, and she has some success there. So don't get so caught up in like you know what niche or what what you pick. Pick the path of least resistance for you and become successful in that. So you're building your own properties. You're building stuff that you can rank. You can, you know, rent them out. You can test with, right? You, you're a basically able to rank these properties and get leads from. Now, the next model is kind of SEO. People will say, ah, you know, they'll shine a light, bad light on rank and rent. And people will shine a bad light on SEO, client work and whatnot, right? You get those two back and forth. Um, for SEO clients, if you can rank your own properties, you'll be able to rank 
any really anybody's right. It's the same thing that you would do to rank your own rank and rent. You would rank the SEO client or client work or agency work. It's the process of ranking these things doesn't change. At least for me, it's the same process. You know, on and off page backlinks, right, and content. I, I heard this said, and, and I I think I'm gonna adopt it. I don't know who said it to me. But it's not my original thought, it's TLC, right? It's traffic, it's links and content. You just have to show your website or your property some TLC, uh, you know, some traffic, some links and some content and you'll be fine. So no matter if you're doing the SEO client work or if you're doing the rank and rent model, right? It doesn't matter if you can rank one, you can rank the others. And the more you help, even in the SEO model, the more you help people, um, rank, the more you help people uh, get more leads, the more you will help that business. I have a post. There's a gym that we're helping. She's hiring a, a different instructor, a different empl another employee, I should say, because we're helping them do well. And that's the best feeling ever, guys. The more people you help, the, the better you um, it will come back to you. It's a, it'll be a good return for yourself, right? Let me make sure. Do you charge the lead or monthly flat rate? So I stay busy. Uh, who's this, Steve? I stay busy. I like the flat fee, okay? Now, in saying that, I'm about to put a good handful of properties on Cyberlink, right, with uh, uh, Micah's platform where he pays per lead. But here's the thing. I don't keep track of none of that. Basically, I build it, website, GMB. It's the same stuff I use for my clients. I used to rank that. I put it in the systems. If the call that comes in as a lead passes a certain time duration, um, he, I get a check off of that. It's just a platform that Micah has. He specializes in the rank and rent. And what he did is he went out, got a bunch of contractors so you don't have to call and like, hey, I got I got leads, so I got leads. He set that up. And in his platform throughout the US, uh, he has different niches, right? You know, all, all the popular ones in all the popular areas. If you connect it to his system, and basically it's kind of what you have right now. You said you had a tracking number and you're forwarding that to your customer. Well, it, I don't really, I mean, everybody has 24 hours. I just want to rank it, right? And then I just put it in my system and he buys the leads off of me and he sells them to his client, right? And then he just sends me the check. So even the ones that I don't have, so I got some junk removal ones set up right now. It's a flat fee. Uh, it's a flat fee just because I don't want to keep track of it. I don't want to you know, have to manage it, manage it at all. And Clients have been pretty successful. I don't have that many, Steve. I have more agency um, work, uh, agency model than the rank and rent, but I do have some and I just keep it flat fee. I don't want to keep track of none of that. So hopefully that, that answers. But again, there's just different models even within the rank and rent, right? There's people that want partnerships. There's people that want to count um, their leads and there's people that don't want to put it on a lead selling like platform they rather go out and and, and get their own client because you'll get more and, and probably so probably so I, I wouldn't doubt it but the key here where I want to help our community and help you is if you rank it and you build it let's put it somewhere where you can monetize today right while you go out and look for different stuff and that's how I leverage Cyber Depot you know, one, to monetize the leads. Two, I don't want to keep track of the leads, the contract, the HR, the people. I don't I don't want to keep none, you know, I don't want none of that, right? I just want to build it hands off, right? And, you know, off to the races it goes and then monetize it, move on to the next one. So guys, with the SEO um, work, right? You have your own issues there. People yeah. will leave, right? Um now, one thing that I do see that it's you want to have that balance for both. If you're doing agency work and SEO work, the more people you help, guys, invest it back into yourself. You can invest it back into your rank and rent properties. Find an area on Cyber Depot. You can pick the state, pick your niche, and see if he has it on there. That's exactly what I do. 
Um, for example, I have like a good seven in Vegas, right next door to the state where I'm in. I'm putting up about seven properties, right? Because I know once I rank those, once I built the website, I'm just plugging in them in because I don't want to deal with the rest. If I find a company, I'll, all I have to do is forward the number to them, right? But for now, it's just on Cyber Depot. But what I'm trying to say is if I took my SEO clients and I was able to help them and then took the profits from that and I invested back into my own rank and rent properties. I want to build both sides of the business, both sides of the um, the 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 income, you know, so as the client work, as I'm helping them, the profit, I'm putting it back onto the rank and rent and my own properties and letting that profit as well. So that's the model, kind of the setup that I want to um, uh, take you both through. Sorry, guys, I'm getting distracted. My dog left and then he's back here. He brought a friend with him. But um, that's the model that I want to kind of take is don't shine a bad light on one versus the other. It's more of, um, give me one second. Let me let him in real quick. Yeah. Sorry about that. There's my puppy right there. He's been gone. But I want to um I want to have kind of that that balance and the leveraging of one to the other. It's not that one is bad or one is good or whatnot, but it, it's that leveraging of both the SEO and the GMB uh, together and how to leverage that and how to manage those two things, um, you know, from one to the other. And so you can help it uh, to grow. Um, so, you know, just wanted to, you know, shine a light in how you can leverage that. Because again, the overall process is to help both, you know, both business models, right? So with the rank and rent and the SEO, a um, couple of things, guys. And this is kind of how I want to tie it all in together. One is the offer, okay? You have to get down your offer on either one of those. You know, being world-class on both of those, it's what's your offer to help you. Uh, and and that, that offer needs to be world-class. That offer needs to be, you know, um, world-class results, world-class process. More than anything, it's the predictable results on both of them, whether you're doing rank and rent or SEO. Now, here's the thing with the rank and rent, what do you mean the offer? You know, it's my own property. What I'm trying to say with that is you can practice getting results on your own property and tests. So it helps you there to build your skill, to build that thing, to help you in your process with your customers. So you don't necessarily have to practice on your customers. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. So in the offer and becoming world-class, um, getting that process set up and the fulfillment part set up for you, because even for me with the rank and rent, I don't do all that work myself, right? I have a fulfillment team that helps me with that. And as you grow, you're going to level up in those in, in that area as well. So um, combining both, one, so you can sharpen your skills, so you can practice and, and, and what is working, what is not working, so you can move it back and forth into your client's work and help more people that way. Um, another thing is, so you have your skill, you have your offer, and then you, you, you have the process on how you get clients, how you do your outreach. And then from there, you, you know, you have your fulfillment because all of this stands on sales, right? You have to sell your leads. You have to sell your results. You have to sell, you know, um, you know, your offer, your whatever that predictable, that's world class that, you know, if you stick it on one end, it's going to come out the other is ultimately the sales part of it. OK, that's what's going to build, because then you have an offer when you're talking in sales. You have a process when you close that sales and you have your fulfillment as when when you when you close that sale. Right. And then you've been 
practicing and polishing these things and anything, any shiny object, any new product, new idea, if it doesn't fit, if it doesn't build the thing or your skill and the process and the fulfillment or your sales, then you know to reject it or where you can practice it on your rank and rent um, side of the business to see if it works, to see if it's effective. So you can move it back over to your um, SEO or agency work. So hopefully that make that kind of makes sense and tying in those two things together. Um, so guys, um, any particular questions at this point? I just wanted to tie kind of those things in together, how you can use it. Not one is better than the other. Um, hopefully, Steve, I, I know you had a few questions on there. Hopefully, they, you know, shared some light, different point of view, different pair of sunglasses that you can help uh, view the um, this process between both. And it's not one is bad or worse than the other is how to leverage both to help you help your agency grow, help your business grow. And the more people you're able to help, the more you're able to level up your skills, you know, uh, invest in yourself, right? Your, um, you know, your knowledge, your health, your wealth, you know, learning your skills, always, you know, building upon that so you can, you know, help more people. And then more importantly is that I think it all starts from that offer, getting it for world class. That way it could help your sales because you have that process and fulfillment set up. So that's a basically summary of what I wanted to, to kind of catch. I wanted to kind of like, hey, give you a new uh, way of maybe how to look at things. How do you come up with your offer? Okay, so to me, again, it goes back to what was I confident in? What can I speak on, right? What uh, I learned the broad sense of, of like marketing and I kind of, what was the path of least resistance? That's the way I, I went towards. And then I surrounded people, surrounded myself pe with people better than me. They taught me how to polish that. In my case, it was GMB, how to polish those results quickly, uh, effectively and predictably every single time. I had a recipe, right? When you bake a, a cake, you have your, your recipe and you know, what, what you're looking for, what it'll produce every time. So that's how I produce my offer. It was something that I, I try to make it hard for people to say no to. Uh, second thing, um, the more you do it in the sales and the more you know your niche and your, and your um, clients, you're going to start hearing, man, I hired, um, so Frederick, I hired uh, Shantae and, you know, she didn't communicate and uh, I didn't know where my money was going. So I, you start hearing like these common issues over and over. So what I did is I incorporated that in my offer with the GMB where I told people, hey, it's three, uh, 30, uh, 30, 60, 90 day results, three, six, nine miles. Um, it includes this in your um, service and uh, you're never going to wonder where your money is going. Um, and even now I'm still improving that. I just incorporated like a touch point where I'm touching my clients every time. Uh, my clients right now are, are getting Loom videos like for the new year. Hey, this is the new tracking sheet. Um, I built onto my team. We have what's called month over month report. You're never going to wonder. You're going to see improvement on the website and on your GMB. So it was just the path of least resistance to me and the client's that I spoke to, I was able to speak to them. I was able to speak to their needs. I kind of understood them and that made my job easier. So anything after that, anything, that's what I'm trying to say is, um, I had my process, I had my fulfillment. So I knew anything that people were trying to pitch to me, if it didn't improve my sales, my process or fulfillment, I rejected. I just focused on the one thing and I, and I became like world-class at it. And uh, I leveraged both of them. I'm just now ramping up the ranking rent because now I'm able to like cut the process, right? I don't have to guess where to build certain things. If I can monetize it as soon as it ranks, phone call number one. Um, so you kind of shortcut those things. But I took for me being able to help in the agency work the profits, I took that into my own ranking rent and helped build that, that up. So hopefully that made sense.
there or I answered your question, Franklin, um, or Frederick, I should say. Uh, any other questions, guys, that I can take you kind of like my perspective, what I'm doing, kind of like hopefully guiding you, clear the fog up, get some clarity on the other side of these things that um, hopefully it can help you with. Any other questions? Today is going to be a short one, guys. What training do you need to do this? Guys, you have William Jones. You have these classes here. You have um, old GMB um, old GMB uh, recordings that you can take. But hey, I'm 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 going to ask you, uh, Lori. Like, what is? How did you find us? Right? You you came from somewhere. Um, we have. Of speakers, guest speakers that offer some training. It depends like what you want to get into. Uh, located in the back end, yeah, you should have received the email when you became a member of like where these recordings are at. Now, remember these recordings, uh, um, I'm helping William kind of make them more focused. So like, for example, Thursday's the rank and rent. You know, uh, Wednesdays is like with Chris Palmer. Sometimes it's every other week. Or the certain speakers will speak on a certain subject, like Mondays, how to rank a uh, service area business with William Jones. But if you, it's more of an open communication to take maybe a training that you had before and then help you polish that, like pick up certain things, the lingo. Um, so it's it just a matter of like, okay, what do you want to do? If you tell me, oh, I want GMB or I want ads or I want to become, you know, a web guy or, you know, how, you know, I want to learn how to do these things. Um, set up a call with me. I can put you in the right directions, maybe to different trainings and then stay plugged into William Jones, the community around here. You can ask that question within the group. Um what is uh, the best GMB method? <laughs> That's the the the, the uh, golden question, right? How to get GMBs, uh, guys? We're about to put up an offer that I'm going to give you a website of GMB within a persona. Uh, I should know by Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, getting that test finalized because I'm only going to offer it to 20 people. So I'll give you what I want to do is give you that rank and rent model. So I'll give you all the hurdles. Like somebody said, you know, how do I build a website? I'll tell you where to go. And, you know, how do I get the GMB? I'll give it to you. You, you know, I'm hoping you bring some skills to the table. So all you have to do is rank it. I'll give you a place where you can um, monetize it. Or if you have a client that you can monetize, I'm trying to give you that to help you to, or to help your clients e e either way. Uh, getting verified is a huge pain recently. It's actually lining up lately, uh, Steve. It's it, it's not as bad as you think. It's lining. It, it's getting light. That's why I'm only going to offer 20 people. Hence the method, or it's a pain in the butt, right? Tomorrow it could be gone. So I'm only going to take like 20 people, give them this offer. It's not going to break the bank. I'm trying to add more value to it, uh, put a bow on it and make it as secure as possible, right? Because I can't predict what Google is. So the rank and rent stuff that I'm telling you in Vegas, that's what I'm testing it on. And I should have it by uh, Monday. Monday, I should have it by then. I have a limo that we're tired. Like we tried three now, but no, like <laughs> you should talk to Harry. You should, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, guys. Like, don't get like, you just got to crack the code. Limo, talk to Steve. If you come on tomorrow, I'm surprised he's not here. If you come on tomorrow to the GMB Pros, Harry's normally here. But guess what he's doing right now, probably? He's in a limo making some money. Um, I would love to connect you guys together, and he'll help you in the limo business. <laughs> probably every niche you guys can think of, I can partner you up with somebody that's been that's very successful. Not a little bit, a lot successful. Any niche, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, it, you know, the, the, the niche limo, uh, I talked to Harry, <laughs> he takes literally the rank and rent model for his business, which is in the limo and it's super successful. I ha I got 200 websites, age, all need GMBs. Okay. Uh, I don't like to get into that GMB yeah. kind of business and verification because, um, Tomorrow, 
you know how Google gets. I have real reviews that don't stick. That's why I don't do reviews uh, per se, right? Because even I'm having trouble even with real reviews. So it's it's just one of those things. But check this out. Uh, who is that? Matthew, right? Matthew. Hence the phone, the whole call today. Leverage that agency work so you can take the profits and put it towards. You have two hundred websites. Hey. That take that profit, get those GMBs built. Boom, get them built. But um, I'm trying to get you to leverage that agency work. You have 200 websites. You, I have uh, junk removals just websites that are monetizing just on the website. Right? Does anyone else? Uh, anyone here cold call? Uh, anyone? Okay. Does anyone else here cold call? Ah, no, no. I do. I don't. But. Put that in the GMB group. You might get some of that um, with you. Um, I'm bringing on a guy. It's not really cold call. It's more like cold email slash LinkedIn, how to leverage that. So Matthew um, or Steve, stay tuned for that. That's what I'm using and testing at the moment. Literally, uh, I don't even think I have a month on it. I had a guy here with cold email. It didn't work out. Um, he wasn't... Uh, how can I say with integrity? So we had to take him out. So I'm trying this. Uh, Drew, you guys might know him. He's going to be coming on. So to help you out with that cold call email, uh, cold calling, you know, I'm trying to leverage LinkedIn with cold um, uh, cold reach on there. So hopefully that uh, that that helps. Uh, Frederick, party bus. Yeah, talk, talk to uh, Harry. Party bus. Uh, you know, regular limos, quinceañera, he has them all. He has them all. Believe me, he can help you with that. So, Matthew, uh, um, hopefully, again, like I said, if if you get into a little bit of agency work or helping clients, taking that profit and leveraging to get your GMBs so you can really, like, leverage your website so they not only have niche relevance, but... Um, or, you know, proximity relevant as well. So you can dominate your area, your trade area uh, in particular, right? Um, because, you know, grids could be a little confusing because nobody cares, you know, if you green them out, if they get no phone calls. So yeah, absolutely, guys, absolutely. Thank, thanks for the engagement. And this is exactly kind of how I wanted to like take this problem and show you through this call, connecting both things, how you can leverage it. All right. Does anyone, okay. Agency work is where 200 came from. Oh, okay. Using the exact strategy, brother. Nice. So, and that's the thing. I wish more people would, uh, yeah, more people. So Matthew, get with me, get with me. I, I don't want to sell you the method. The last time before the whole review, um, came, I, I just gave people my source, um, because I, I just hate for you to spend that money or give me that money to get your GMBs. And then Google does this thing. And they're like, ah, you're looking at me kind of cross-sided. Right. But I, you know, I'll give you sources that you can go that I use that I trust that doesn't break the bank. Right. Um, now one thing with that, I'm Matthew, you, it seems like you've been around at 200, um, websites. When people say they offer you guarantees with the rank and rent and even the, the uh, SEO work, you know, how, you know, even with reviews, right? You get them in your inbox. Oh, I guarantee them till it happens, right? How can we guarantee what Google is going to do or how Google looks at it, right? Even now we're starting to get our reviews back because I can't even get real reviews. So I think Google went off too much to the right and they're adjusting. We just have to adapt and adjust, adapt and adjust, right? So, um, yeah, so just, just be careful. My point to this is be careful. Don't fall for, I guarantee that the, there's never a guarantee. Yeah. You know, and I fell for it too. So I'm telling you this, that's why I said any advice or guidance from my experience, because I fell for it for two at the beginning, but when you sit down and think about it, there is no zero guarantee, but you can do certain steps. And that's what I'm testing now is like that GMB in a particular persona and i give you that persona and if you leave it in there i'm finding that it it it's, seems to be working um so i have more on monday and that's what i'm going to use i'm going to take literally all seven 
plug them into the uh, cyber deep bill and then see what comes out on the other side. And I'll just work a little bit on the ranking and show you guys the results. If you guys like it, you guys can um, opt for the, the um, platform and um, you know make some money. I want to help you either with your business or help your clients to grow so you guys can you know be uh, successful. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, no guarantees, okay, ever, right? Uh, my strategy for those is branded and entity made verification easier. Yeah, so mine saw really speaks on this. He speaks on doing the whole GMB backwards, right? If you have the address, the phone number is easy to get. If you have the website, like if you have those things, go out and build the web 2.0s, the social medias, the citations. Um, guys, you don't need a thousand, a hundred citations, a good handful that they index. That's all you need. Go out and build an entity stack. Go out and build a cloud stack. Um, you know, William Jones has those basic uh, backlink package, web 2.0 citations. And there's another one, press release. Do a little press release. Now, do these work? Yeah, but you have like that frame of... Um, what, what their purpose is, right? You're trying to do your digital footprint. You're trying to get out there. So when it comes to, okay, now I want to like claim my GMB, if Google doesn't give it to you already, um, you know, you claim your GMB, Google will look, oh, I see you. Here you go, right? Make that process. But it's, it's a process, right? A month, right? By the time things get indexed, by the time things, um, you know, get, get in place. But my thing is, once you secure that address, the rest is easy. It's all about time. But go ahead and build that out. So when it comes, if you guys don't know Brett Mysaw, get on his YouTube channel and put him, put out there. Alfred, send me over here. Put Alfred, send me. Blow him up. Give it, show him some love, guys. But that's the I got that method from him, doing things backwards, especially if you have that secured stuff. And I used to reinstate. In fact, I have GMBs today. With soft suspensions, I can't do nothing with them, but I can rank them and I get phone calls because it's my phone number, right? Um, base, that's all I did. I So I went out, got GMBs, they got suspended. But while I was getting the GMBs, I did that. I did citations, Web 2.0, so press release, uh, social media. And then all of a sudden, Google just gave me the GMB. So working it backwards, is it is a, a very solid safe method, especially when they give it to you. So guys, with that said, hopefully this was a value um, to you guys, uh, you know, uh, giving you from my own perspective. Guys, tomorrow, let me check the calendar here. Tomorrow, Friday, I think, where are we at? Yeah, so tomorrow, Friday, we kind of have the day off. So we'll see you guys. So Steve, if you come on Monday, five o'clock Pacific Standard Time, Harry will be there. I can introduce you guys uh, for the limo. Is it you? Let me make sure. Who is doing the limo? Limo, limo. Steve, I'm sorry, Steve. Yeah, Steve. Uh, I'll get you with Harry. He is more than helpful. That dude, that's really, he'll literally give you the, step, the steps that he took, right? He's dominating in the limo industry. I hope you're, hopefully you're not in LA. You might have some trouble. But um, guys, I've been, in fact, probably two classes, GMB Pros. I went to his office. I did the GMB Pros from his office in um, LA. So guys, with that said, much love, much success to everyone. And I'll see you on the next one.